Okay, so there I was, I was six years old, and we used to climb up on the, on the dresser, my, my sister and I, and we would fly through the air, we loved it, you know, from the ceiling onto the bat mattress of the bed, and I said, I want to be an actress. That's all. That's when I knew, I was six years old, and uh, then it was just going on and on, and Terry Southern said, and I quote, I can no longer stand the cacophony of your voice. <laughs> And then I said, the cacophony, huh? The cacophony, huh? He said, look, Karen, um, Ray Ed is not very smart. I don't think he can play her. I said, well, you know what? Let's make a deal. When you say action, I'll stop thinking. <laughs> I won flat out of money. You know, you didn't leave me any number or anything, honey. And I had to, you know, get in a taxi and come on out here in the hopes that I would not be intruding myself. I saw the rushes one time, and um, Myrna Loy was very charming and incredible, and Sid Caesar was cracking all those jokes, and Gloria Swanson was wearing this sort of cowl, and she was... <laughs> Gloria Swanson. And um, I said, oh my God, nobody cares whether they live or die. Nobody cares if they get over the mountain. This is like a comedy. I thought I was in a thriller. I'd better care. I had better truly care if we get over that mountain. <laughs> There's no one left to fly the plane! And, and the, the Zuni doll would run along, and then it would stop. And the head would fly off. <laughs> stop, and the leg would fly off. And the whole set would start laughing about the Zuni doll. It's really interesting. There's supposed to be some Zuni hunter spirit inside of it. <laughs> and. Um, there's a golden chain wrapped around it to keep the spirit from making the doll come to life. He said, well, you know, this afternoon maybe we'll have a um, pianist come or something, or a guitarist. I said, no, I'll sing now. <laughs> so I stood up in front of his fireplace and I sang, well, I'd like to go to Memphis, but I don't know the way, and I'd love to tell you how I feel, but I don't know what to say. And he said, welcome aboard. <laughs> well, I This is not what I'm wearing in your movie. <laughs> no, Miss Head has my costume over her arm. And Mr. Hitchcock said, No, you can wear that. We'll just have to write in a nightmare sequence. <laughs> you have to start with being a man inside, and then you become a woman. And you can't start with being a girl on the inside and pretend to be a girl who's a woman. You can't do it that way. So I can't even explain what I'm talking about. But it was very, very painful to become a man. I'm Joanne. What do you mean? Joanne. I mean that, unlike apparently all of you, I have undergone a change. 